utilizing pre-made designs is a great way for you to sell your print on demand products on etsy however in today's video i'm going to share with you how to take these pre-made designs a step further and fully edit them with a free tool like pixel art now in today's video i'm going to share with you how to make four amazing edits like changing the color erasing certain things from the pre-made design how to actually select a part of the image and isolate it as its own element and how to make the image larger or smaller to really customize this design yourself i'm sure this all with you coming up next So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main resource we're gonna utilize in today's video for our pre-made designs is Creative Fabrica. Creative Fabrica is my number one place to go for all of my pre-made designs I utilize for my print-on-demand business. Now, Creative Fabrica is running their best deal of the year right now, where you're able to get access to over 6 million resources with commercial license, all for just $4.99 per month, or lock it in for the entire year at $59. This is their one year full access subscription plan where you are able to get over 6 million resources with the commercial license, like all their fonts, design, classes, and different tools for you to utilize for your print on demand business. And because of their large community of designers, thousands of resources are added every single day. And this comes at 100% risk-free as you can cancel at any time. And Creative Fabrica went a step further for you to get the second year at a major discount just for $47 for the year. Now, they have multiple deals that's going on right now. So I make sure I leave all the links to the deals down in my description box below for you to learn if this is best for you in your print on demand business. So here's the image that we're gonna go ahead and utilize for today's edit. Now, this is a pre-made design that you can find in Creative Fabrica. Again, I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below. But if you notice here, this is not something we can just go ahead and upload to our print on demand product. We have to make some significant changes to this for this to be fair for us to sell on our print on demand product. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize this and make some edits in our design software. And one of the things I like to do is go down to the bottom and see what files are included. I have the file names here, but sometimes you won't have the designer layout what files are included. But if you go down, they will tell you exactly what is included with this file here and one of the files that i definitely want to make sure that is in my download is the png file this will allow us to do all the edits i'm going to share with you in today's video so again make sure you are downloading the png file now there's four main edits that we're going to talk about in today's video number one how to change the color of our design number two how to erase things that is already on the pre-made design number three how to actually move different designs around and number four, how to resize those designs to really make it our own. So with that being said, let's go ahead and download this. And we're going to upload this in my free design software. And we'll share with you right now. So just as a quick side note, when you download this, it will download as a zip folder. However, you want to go in and unzip that and find the PNG file. Because that is the file that we're going to utilize today. So the program that we're going to utilize today to help us make these edits is PixLR. Now they do have a paid version, but in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make all of these edits utilizing the free version. Version. as you head over to the website you want to select the e version as this will give us all the tools we need to make edits to our pre-made design so now that we are in pixlr the e edition we can go ahead and open up the image we just downloaded from creative fabrica or you can just drag this on over and it will share with you different size options you can choose before you make your edits. So I have my image here. I grabbed over from Creative Fabrica, the PNG version here. I can choose to just make this the full HD version or go along with the original file size that this particular image is in. So I will click original and hit apply. Now, as you see here, we have our design exactly how we saw it here in Creative Fabrica. Again, we have this black text version here. We want to change this up to really make this our own. And so the first tip I wanna share with you is how to change the color. So now that we have our image here in PixLR, one of the main things I just wanna talk about is how easy it is for you to change the color of this pre-made design. You have all these tools here on the left-hand side and some of these we'll talk about, but the first tool is the fill tool, this little paint bucket here. When you click this, you have an option to select what color you want to 
you know, have when you change the color of your design. For our case today, again, we know this to be in the white and it's not white here. So I want to go ahead and change this to make it white. So what I would do next is head over to a certain part of the image and go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it would change this entire image to white. Again, this is one solid picture. However, I am able to go in individually and change every single thing that is on this image. If I want to go ahead and click the one here, as you can see, I can zoom in. And it's because these words are disconnected, they're not tied into one solid image or one solid word, it would change each letter individually. And so I want to go ahead and click that here. So as you can see, we just made some changes to our overall design in regards to color. Now we are doing the basic white, but I can go in here to the color wheel and actually change the design to whatever color I want. So how about we go ahead and select the green color here. And again, how about we go ahead and change the color of our tree to green. I have green selected. I have my tool here, the fill tool, and I'm going to head over to this tree and just click it. And as you can see, it will change the color to green. So the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and change this color to red because I really want to bring out some Christmas red here with this overall design. So I made this Santa hat white, but I want to go here and rechange that. So I have my red color selected here and I can go ahead and click this. And as you can see, it changed the color from white to red. Now, one of the things I want to talk about here is that when you are changing colors with PixLR, you have to make sure that whatever is connected as one solid piece, even if it's some letters or some elements, if it is connected as one solid piece, it would change the entire color of that particular group. So for instance here, I have the M just as a standalone image. So look at things as images, just not words. It's a standalone image. And so it changed just that color. However, the Mary, right, the E-R-R-Y, those things are connected as one solid image. And so if I just select the, so if I just select the E, because it is connected, it will change the entire image, the, the entire word. So just be aware of that as you are making these changes. So as you can see, we have added a lot of different colors to our overall design. I just want to go back as a reference. This is what we downloaded from Creative Fabrica. And again, these are the changes we made in PixLR. And as you can see, we changed the entire color of our image here. Again, if I just want to go back and change some more colors, say if I don't want this to be green, I can just select the red here for my tool. And again, I change the cup to red. Again, really easy to do for us to go and make those changes. Again, go back in, pick the green and change this back to what we had it as. So that's how we change colors with this amazing tool. But now I'm gonna share with you the next tip of how to actually erase certain things from our image. So with the tool options we have on the left-hand side, I want to go to this erase tool and this erase tool will erase anything that is on our image right now. So first of all, I wanna to go to the brush size and make sure I pick something that's a little bit large for me to work with. So somewhere between 80 to 100 is what I like to aim for. But again, you can always go in and modify, you know, what size your brush is. But I want to scroll in and I have a lot of these snowflakes here that I just want to erase some of them. So I can go over this and just click on the erase tool and it will erase everything from the image right on the spot. As you can see, this is really easy to use. And again, gives you that option to customize your overall image. Let's say if I don't want the snowflake here, I can just zoom in with my scroll wheel on my mouse. Again, just hover over the image. I'm just clicking on my mouse here. And again, it is erasing this part of the image. Now, again, we're talking about a solid image we have from Creative Fabric, or just one solid PNG image. We have already made a ton of different edits to this overall design. Let's say if I don't want this here as well, I can go in and make my brush size a little bit larger. Again, exit out, and then I can just make one simple click hover over this and again this image is completely gone very easy to use very easy to erase things from pre-made designs if i want to have some space to add some things in so on my other videos i taught you these two popular ones right how to change the color of a pre-made design and then how to actually erase certain things from a pre-made design. However, in this part of the video, I'm sharing with you an amazing tool that you can utilize to move certain things in this image. So for instance here, say if I want this hat to just move out of the way, I don't want it to be right over the one, I just want to move this over to the side, or maybe if I want to move this Christmas tree over to the side, how can I do that? Well, all this can be done in this one design software. What I want to head over to is this wand tool and this wand will select the entire image that I click. So let's just say if I want to move my hat, I select the wand tool, click over on the hat 
and it will actually outline these little ants, outline this entire part of the image for me to select. Now from here, because I have this all selected, I want to go into my little uh, arrange tool and I want to go ahead and transform this image so I can move it around, right? So I have my arrange tool selected. I'm only highlighting this part of the image and I want to head over to transform. And as you can see, it will now select this as an element separate from the entire image. Now I can move this over to one side to the next. Very easy to do. If you have used any design tool, you will start realizing that, okay, wow, I have these boxes on the side here. And those boxes are for me to do my next tip and that is to resize the image. So here we have it, right? We can now move the image. We can now resize it. I can even uh, disform it. I can make it a little tighter, a little wider. I can even go and curve the image to the left or to the right. Again, now this has taken this design to a whole nother place in regards to how can we edit pre-made designs. In my previous video, I talk about how you can grab the AI file and drag it over to Canva, but utilizing PixLR gives you so much options for you to change this design and really make it your own. So let's just say I want this to be right back center. I want to enlarge this a little bit more and maybe have this be over to the side here. If I want to have this be set in place, I made my changes, I made my edits, I transformed this image the way I want to, you have to make sure you go up to the top here and click apply. What that means is that it will freeze this image exactly where it is for you to continue with your customizations and your edits with this pre-made design. So let's move some more things around, right? I have this Christmas tree that I want to move. I will click the one tool, head over to the Christmas tree. And what the one tool will do is that it will do its precision of cropping out this image or just making this image selected so I can crop it out, move it around, change the color, make any edits I want to do just primarily with this part of the image. So from here, again, I want to go to the arrange tool and I want to hit transform. And this gives me the option to move this around as a single element. I'm moving the image around and I'm able to resize this if I want to use this in a different way with this pre-made design. Just as a reference, right? Let's go back to our design. This is what we started off with, right? This one design and one color, everything is where it is. But when we drag this over into our design software that we're using absolutely for free, we are able to go in and make these changes right here on the spot with a free program. Now, let's just say if I want to move more than one image at the same time, again, remember that even though we have fonts on here, look at everything in our space as a part of the image. So not just fonts, but these are a part of the image. These are standalone images or elements if you want to use that term. And so if I want to just move this entire word Mary, I have to go into the one tool again, right? I'm gonna hit apply, hit, hit yes, I wanna save that. I want to go into the one tool again, but I have this mode up here. I have three different modes I want to choose, right? I can select one uh, image at a time, and that's what we've been working with here. So it will select the M, uh, but what if I want to select the Mary? Because again, it is detached from this, right? The E-R-R-Y, because it is detached from this. Well, if I try to select this again, what it will do is that it will deselect the M and it will select whatever I have clicked on. So the question might be, well, how can I select this all at one time? Well, if I go to the mode here, I can go to the second option where it says add to selection. So not only will it add what I have here, but it will add on whatever else I click on. So I want to click on the M to have the complete word Mary. And as you can see, I have selected this as one entire image. So, you know, from here, we're going to go ahead and go to our arrange tool, hit transform. And now I'm able to move this as one solid piece. Again, I can resize this. I can distort this if I want to up and down. I can actually curve this if I want. But again, this is how you are able to make amazing changes with pre-made designs where you're really able to create a whole new design from something that we grab from Creative Fabrica. That's why I believe Creative Fabrica is the number one place for all of your pre-made designs because you can go in here and never create anything from scratch, but utilize free tools like PixLR to really make some amazing changes. Again, if I want everything to stay where it is, I'm going to click apply and it will almost like iron this into the image. Now this has changed the entire placement of this word here. Now, one final tip I just wanna share with you in this video is another way for you to select the image. Let's just say I just want to select the image as it is, just all of this Mary at one time. I can select this little box here and I can just scroll over and select the entire image as best as possible. Now, again, if I'm not selecting this entirely and I have cropped out this part of the O, 
when I head over to my transform tool, it will take part of the old with me, as you can see here. So you definitely want to make sure that you have this placed out in such a way that you are only cropping out what you want to select, because if you add anything in here, it will take it along on the journey. So I definitely don't want that to be the case. So I want to go back and hit undo because I just want to change the Mary here. So from here, I want to deselect this. So I will go back to this box tool I work with. I want to remove the selection. That is my third option here. And as you can see, if I click on this, now it will remove that for me to start over. I can go ahead again and just make sure I have my box aligned the right way. So I have my entire image here. Nothing in the white is coming from the one. I have all the Mary in place. And now I can go to my range tool, hit transform. And now this is also one solid image I can actually have to transform and really make it my own. So we also have an option to distort the image here. So I have my whole word selected teacher and I want to go into the arrange tool again, but this time I want to hit distort and just, this gives me some more options. If I want to change the overall layout of my image or in the case, my word teacher, I have these four options here on the side. And again, this can really distort the image. If I want to creatively use this for my next design, again, this gives you so many options creatively. If you want to utilize this for your next print on demand product. So again, all these things, let's just go back to our overall image here. This is what we grabbed from creative fabrica. This is the image we have utilized in today's tutorial. Again, we didn't necessarily try to create a specific design. However, we can do this on the next video, but the whole point of this particular video is just to share with you how far away from the original design we can get by utilizing creative fabrics designs and plugging them in to a free software like PixLR. So as you can see, utilizing creative fabrics pre-made designs is an easy way for you to start your print on demand business and going a step further, making those changes in our free resource like PixLR is a great way for you to make these designs truly your own. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how I create my print on demand mockups for my print on demand business. However, if you want to learn my exact step-by-step -step process of how I do that, make sure you click this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.